Hey there, Cassie Dunn with The Moving Factory, and today I want to talk about selling your home in a city that requires a certificate of occupancy. A certificate of occupancy is a um, inspection done by the building department of the city you live in that has said that they've come out and they've inspected your home for sale and they have approved it um, to the standard to which the city requires homes to be at in order for a new buyer to assume possession of the home. So um, what we require, there's a couple different options in order to um, facilitate this when um, thinking about selling your home. The first option is the best option that we've come across that is to have the pre-sale inspection done before you go to market on the home. This means before the listing process is started, you've gone to the building department, you've paid the fee um, to have the inspection done. The inspector comes out to the home and we get a list of repairs required in order to facilitate the transfer of ownership to a new buyer, a, a new homeowner. So this is the best option and the best option within this option is to actually complete those repairs as the homeowner. When the homeowner completes those repairs, has the city come back out, the city approves the hit, uh, sale of the home and offers the certificate of occupancy, this is where we see homeowners get the highest and best value for the sale of their home. Um, so in that list, sometimes we can come back and so now we have the list, this is option two. We have the list, either there's some um, weather related uh, restrictions, we can't reduce cement, things like that. We're gonna have to have a buyer purchase the home and assume those repairs where they can complete those in a weather permitting situation or within 180 days of the sale of the home. Um, this will allow us to at least negotiate on behalf of you for the sale of your home and it allows the buyer to know exactly what's expected of them when they purchase the home and the repairs that are required in order to get that home up to code in order to live there and occupy in that city. Um, this, this positions us to still negotiate strongly on your behalf. However, we, we do see sometimes this changes the value of your home. So obviously having that list and knowing exactly what we're up against when a buyer assumes responsibility of this home is actually um, paramount. Another caveat to option two is we're starting to see lenders get a little bit more strict on the criteria for when a buyer assumes the repairs on a property. So even though the city will give you 180 days, it's about six months of time to complete those repairs and have the inspector back out to your home and give you that final certificate of occupancy, we're seeing lenders say, hey, these repairs aren't actually getting done. So we're now requiring a 30 to 60 day limit to have those repairs done or else they're going to put fees or fines on the buyer at that point. So with these um, restrictions and these guidelines changing, it can just change the negotiation standpoint and power that a seller has when selling their home. And when we take a home to market, we wanna make sure we have as much leverage to get you the highest and best price that that market will offer you for your home and the condition it's in. So at least option two is the bare minimum that our team will work with. Unfortunately, option three is to reject the um, pre-sale inspection at all and to take your home to market and not offer a, a list of repairs or um, any type of certainty what is required for that home for a home buyer. Um, whenever a home goes to market like this, and I've been guilty of listing homes in this situation in the past, the homes will sit for an extended period of time just due to the uncertainty of the responsibility to the buyer and how much is um, going to be required of them to purchase that home and put into it after the purchase of the, that home. So that being said, um, we won't even list a home like that anymore. It just makes it too unmarketable and too unsure what's going to happen with the transaction and will usually lead to the buyer requesting the inspection done for at least a list of repairs, which can sometimes and most times lead to the sale falling through and having to start over anyways. So I have a list of all Southeast Michigan cities that require a certificate of occupancy, um, how, good they're, uh, how long they're good for, and what's the approximate fee that it costs to get the inspection done. We highly recommend if you're in one of these cities to absolutely have the pre inspection done if you're starting to consider selling your home because until we see that list and know that you're going to either offer the certificate of occupancy to a buyer or at least have a list to evaluate we really can't determine the actual value of your home because that list can change the value um, the sales price of your home substantially based on what's on that list so if you're working with an out-of-area realtor and they're not aware that um, there's certificate of occupancies in Southeast Michigan I absolutely you want to check in there's also county time of sales in our area in Southeast Michigan I'll put a list of which counties are required well and septic in order for a time of sale from the county so these are just inspections you want to be aware of in order to sell your home because they can and will imp impact the value of your home and how much you can actually get from the market um, in order to sell it for the highest and best price as well as the leverage you need to dictate the terms that get you to where you're going after you sell your home so if you have any questions please reach out to us anytime I'm gonna put a link to um, below talking about more about um, the best way to sell your home and then I'm also gonna paste a link to where you can see whether um, your city requires a certificate of occupancy or not if your city is not 
not requiring one at this time, it does not mean that you are exempt from this. If you are not going to sell your home for another year, you will definitely want to check back in and make sure that the city hasn't changed the regulations and criteria as more and more cities are moving to requiring a certificate of occupancy to sell your home. So if any questions, reach out. We're more than happy to help and facilitate any type of um, connection with the city you need, as well as help you determine the appropriate home value for your home. Talk with you guys soon.